in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about what being married to a free spirit is like from the nerd's perspective. So on Friday, Mauricio will be telling you what it's like to be married to a nerd from the free spirit's perspective, which I think will be actually really, really humorous. And I won't even tell him what to say. <laughs> Maybe. So stick around and see what I've done to make budgeting just a little bit more easy for Mauricio to tolerate. So as all you Day Ray followers know, they're Day Ray, Dave Ramsey. That's what I call him, Day Ray. I'm gonna start a hashtag, hashtag D-A-E-R-A-E. So for all you Day Ray followers out there, you already know there are two types of people, the nerds and the free spirits when it comes to finances. I'm a nerd. I like numbers. They make me happy. I like moving those numbers around to make the budget work. I like Excel spreadsheets. I have Excel spreadsheets for my Excel spreadsheets. I like order and organization, systems and rules, and I pretty much revel in being a nerd in our relationship. Mauricio is not a nerd, not even a little bit. He's actually a free spirit. And if ever there were two different kinds of budgeters, that would be Mauricio and I. We first started budgeting when we, shortly after we first got married, um, and it never worked, ever. Not at all. Probably because budgeting held no interest for Mauricio. He didn't find it interesting. He didn't think it was cool. I did, but he didn't. And not only was it not interesting to him, but it was actually complicated and confusing. I began our budgeting life by creating Excel spreadsheets. I loved my Excel spreadsheets. Every month I had a new one and every month it was super detailed and I had money here and money there and I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. And when we first started having budgeting meetings, his eyes would glaze over and kind of roll back in his head and sometimes he'd snore. I could never understand why he didn't get excited like I did because budgeting is awesome. But sadly, for reasons unknown to me or the rest of humanity, his brain just doesn't work like mine at all. Which is probably good in a lot of ways for our marriage, but when it comes to budgeting, yeah, it'd be helpful if he were a little nerdier. In April of last year, we started budgeting with every dollar and all of a sudden it was like click, the light went on and budgeting was easy for Mauricio. He just got it. Now he actually follows along in meetings and, and kind of actually enjoys it, gets into it, and but frequently forgets as soon as we walk out of the meeting. In order to keep the budget meetings exciting and budgeting exciting and paying off a debt exciting to Mauricio, I've incorporated a couple of little visual things that really have helped him. He really likes the visual aspect of of the things that I've done. So he can look at it and see the success we've made. And we have two of those. The first thing is the mammoth debt payoff chart. And while it's huge and overwhelming, and we are actually considering breaking it down, it is a visual thing. And it is nice to be able to see, we have actually made this much headway. So every budget meeting, we open it up and we color in the amount of debt that we paid off. Actually, Mauricio does the coloring, which is why it's not, you know, meticulously lettered and perfect. Like it would be with, you know, like a straight edge if I had done it. Again, nerd, Mauricio, not nerd. And the second thing I've done is we actually have two jars. Both jars actually represent the debt that we're focusing all of our efforts on. Jar number one is what we've paid and jar number two is what we have left to pay. And in the what we have left to pay jar, there are little white beans. And each bean, depending on the debt, represents either 50 or $100. Currently in our jar, each bean represents $100. So every time we pay $100 off, we get to take one bean out and put it in. So at the end of our budget meeting, every time we take as many beans out and put them in. Sometimes it's, you know, 25, sometimes it's 30, sometimes it's more. Depends on the month. And we also have a second set of jars that track our largest debt. Same concept, bigger jar, much bigger jar. And we always constantly keep those going. That way we have a visual representation of our accomplishments. And we do it at the beginning of the, the monthly budget meeting and at the end. And it really helps Mauricio to have like a tactile representation of our 
actual debts and how much we paid off. So I love to hear from you guys. Are you the nerd or the free spirit? My guess is if you're obsessively watching YouTube videos about getting out of debt, you're probably more nerds than free spirits, but I really don't know. I'd love that. Let's do an informal survey. Nerd, free spirit. That's all you have to write in the comments below. Write if you're a nerd or free spirit or both. I mean, there's probably some people out there that are like smack in the middle. And here's something else I've always wondered. What happens when you have two free spirits that are married to each other? I mean, if you have two nerds that are married to each other, you might battle for who gets to do the budget every month. But if you have two free, free spirits, does anybody actually do the budget? I mean, how do free spirits actually do the budget? What if you're single and a free spirit? Then what happens with that? Because I tell you, I can't imagine Mauricio putting together any sort of budget and following it. Whether he knows or not, it's just not his forte. I mean, he knows he has to pay off debt, but, but actually writing it down and assigning, you know, a category for every single dollar, I just don't know that he would do it. Because truthfully, before we started this Gazelle and Terrence period of our life, I actually made Mauricio do the budget for about four months and it was a complete disaster. I mean, a complete disaster. We didn't overdraft anything, but he didn't know what bills had been paid or what hadn't been paid or it just, he was just kind of like, la vida. And it made me insane. So I obviously took it back from him because I couldn't deal. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Crap. <gasps> it was only on the top. Do we have insurance? Yes, we have insurance. Well, guys, I successfully dumped a glass of wine on my husband's brand new computer. Well, it's not brand new. It's like we got it at the end of last year. So, yeah, um, hopefully it works. A little stressed out.